In this video, we are going to look at the engineering and ethical challenges of humans colonizing the Galilean moon, Europa. The first persistent challenge that astronauts would face upon landing on Europa is the intense radiation from Jupiter's magnetic field. Europa is the second innermost of the Galilean moons and orbits Jupiter well within the magnetic field of the gas giant. The amount of radiation an astronaut will experience on the surface of Europa is estimated to be 5.4 sievert per day, which is 1,800 times what is received by a person on sea level on Earth in a year, and will kill at least 50% of humans in 30 days. It has been suggested that ice, which is abundant on Europa, can be used as shielding and igloo-like structures can be used to mitigate this. Well, here is my question. Are we seriously going all the way from Earth to Europa to live in an igloo? I think what is meant by this is that whatever facility is present on Europa, it could be shielded with ice like an igloo. Europa has a tenuous atmosphere and exhibits a temperature of negative 225 degrees Fahrenheit at midday around the moon's equator. Hence, the facility that is constructed to house astronauts also has to provide a room temperature and an atmosphere that humans can survive in. The second challenge of colonizing Europa is an ethical struggle which is the possible contamination of the moon with life from Earth. Europa is thought to be one of the most likely places in the solar system to find extraterrestrial life because of its liquid ocean underneath a thick ice sheet. Here on Earth, wherever we find liquid water, we find life. Hence, every effort must be made to preserve this precious moon from introduction of life from Earth. We humans have a ton of bacteria in and on ourselves at all times and can easily contaminate this moon. The final reason to rethink colonization of Europa at this time is because engineers are not even sure that structures built on ice will be stable in the long run because of possible ongoing plate tectonics on Europa. Plate tectonics is thought to explain why Europa has very few craters when compared to Ganymede, Callisto, and other bodies in the solar system. We know very little about the mechanism of the version of plate tectonics on this moon. Hence, we need more information before embarking on colonization. Why spend billions of dollars on a space station that we are not sure will stand the test of time? While the engineering challenges of colonizing Europa are not insurmountable, I just cannot stand the thought of humans introducing Earth life to this moon. This is an ethical barrier that I think it is insurmountable. Instead, I think we should focus on colonizing Mars with a vengeance. I think the next incoming president of the United States and Congress should set a date of when the first set of humans should land on Mars and begin the first steps towards human colonization. Why do I suggest we go to Mars and possibly Callisto instead? Don't we run the risk of introducing Earth life to Mars as we could on Europa? Well, on Mars, the surface has been sterilized by ultraviolet radiation from the sun and by perchlorates irradiated by ultraviolet rays which have been shown to be very toxic to bacteria. Links in the description below. Also, iron oxide and hydrogen peroxide, which are common on Martian soils, react with irradiated perchlorate to create very hostile conditions for bacteria. If there is life on Mars, it is probably underground. So conceivably one can colonize Mars and still find life that is strictly Martian. Furthermore, Dr. Zubrin makes the case that Mars and Earth have been exchanging rocks sent into space by asteroid impacts. Hence, there is already a high probability that Earth life has already reached Mars by strictly natural causes. Europa, while interesting for reasons stated above, can wait for a while. Callisto, the outermost of the large moons of Jupiter, on the other hand, yields so much promise. In fact, NASA scientists and engineers have come up with a detailed framework on how to land humans on Callisto by the 2040s. This plan includes details on what propulsion system the space vehicle will use to get humans to the Jovian moon and back to Earth in five years, a way to generate artificial gravity, and how to shield humans from deep space radiation while in transit to and from the moon. I provide these details about this fascinating NASA framework in this 4-minute video please click here. All links to articles used to make this video are in the description below. Thanks for watching. Cheers!